welcome back to a brand new video. This is a big one because I'm not absolutely guessing at this tournament. It's the UEFA Europa League. The Europa League is a tournament where I tend to do better at because I don't just guess at this one thing I do with the conference league. I know these teams, a bunch of champions, aka the tournament of the Champions League rejects. And I think that these teams, I have a good shot predicting. So just make sure to hit that subscribe button. And we'll get right into this one with Group A. My computer just has to load, which it has now. All right, then, Group A, we have the champions of the Europa Conference League, West Ham, Olympiakos of Greece. She Freiburg of Germany and Banca Topola of God knows where. I gotta check this out. They're the best team in Serbia. What? Highest ranked team in Serbia? Where the guys where they finished last year? Uh, second. Okay. Okay. All right, man, they did pretty good, so got to give Baka Topola some credit here. But, yeah, I'm going to say West Ham will grab first, SC Freiburg second, Olympiacos of Greece third, and Baka Topola fourth. Sorry, Baka, after giving all that praise, just a dump you there. That was kind of harsh, but we got some really good teams coming up here, so I got to be brutally honest. So, yeah. West Ham, good side. Lucas Paqueta and his yellow cards. I don't know what to say. Olympiacos, good team. Freiburg, very, very good. By the way, Olympiacos with Sergi Cano's on love for Brentford. And uh, Freiburg lost pretty much every good player they had to Brentford. Uh, strangely enough, I'm talking about Brentford. This is essentially the Brentford, not Brentford derby. And then Baca, I don't know much about them, but the Sassi Bacas are second in the, in the first in the Serbian League. They finished second last year, so give some credit to them. Put some respect on Baca to pull his name. All right, and our next one, Group B, the group of death right here. We're not wasting any time to get into these groups of death. Ajax, Marseille, Brighton, and Ake Athens. You know, I have a headache, Athens. I think, let me just get this out here. You're not going to finish bottom, I'll be honest. You'll finish third. Because this one team has every player robbed from them. Funny enough, Edson Alvarez and Mohamed Kudus, former IX players, this summer transfer window both went to the aforementioned West Ham. So, yeah, I think that West Ham... I will do good, but anyway, I actually will finish fourth. You're getting fourth for me. Um, Marseille, you'll get second place, and Brighton will win the group of the first. A pretty good result for Brighton. Yeah. All right, then, this group I really like. Rangers, Real Batiste, Sparta Prague, and Aris Limassol. Aris Limassol, I think they're Greek. They could be a Cypriot. Don't quote me on this. They are Cypriot, and they're first in the Cypriot League. So, yes, okay. Aris Limassol. Second of Illinois. Uh, shout out to AK Larnica, even though they sadly could not treat my mother. It's very sad from her disease, but yeah, she's, I hope she can still do her thing. She loves me very much. So, shout out to you, Molly. But anyway, yes. Hopefully she can recover, recover. but yes, A.K. Larnica is in that league. Aris Lomaso, you have Sparta Prague, Real Batiste, and Rangers. I'm going to say this right now. The Cypriot side will finish bottom. The Czech in Sparta Prague, third. Scariest elevator in the world land. Um, you have... Realities, who are going to get first? And Rangers in second. Because Rangers cannot do anything right in a European competition. Next up to Group D, we have Atlanta Sporting, Sturm Graz, and Rakov Shishikova. I'm going to be right out there with this one. This group right here is easy to predict. 
Sporting first, Avalon the second, SK Stern Garage bottom, Rakov Chestakova third place. That is an easy group to predict if I ever saw one. If I get this one wrong, I will say that every subscriber of mine was from my mother. But no, honestly, it wasn't. So let's go move on to the next group. In this group, keeping the energy, we have the team that will win the whole tournament, Liverpool. First, LASK of Austria. Never even heard of them until five seconds ago. Bottom for me, sorry. Union San Juan's second. Toulouse, another team I really like. But Toulouse are getting third. They will go to the Conference League. That is my prediction for Group E. Let's move straight on to the next one. Just because Union, good team, but they will make it through. Toulouse, not the best team in France, except they are really good anyways. Don't know what said all that stuff. And they will make it third under the Conference League. LASK, not, know nothing about you. Bottom. Liverpool is Liverpool. Their makeup, their midfield makeup, and it's just going to work out great. So Liverpool will top this group. All maximum points, everything like that. Only on to lose. Uh, could be close. I'll say to lose. Well, finish. It will be for Union. I'm just going to say this. I usually don't say this. But Union will get four. We'll get three wins, three losses. One loss to Toulouse, one loss to Union. Toulouse will beat Union once. They'll, they'll lose to Liverpool twice. They'll also throw a silly draw with. No. With LASK for some reason. They'll just come up two points short. Next up, we have Group F, where we have Villarreal, Red, Maccabi Haifa, and Panthinaikos. This group, I want to see Red win, but, yeah, but the loss of Jeremy Doku is hard. Uh, Villarreal also the loss of Unai Emery hard. Who do I predict first? I don't know. I'm going to predict Red first, after all that. Um, Villarreal second. Maccabi Haifa, third. And I'm going to be honest, Pandanaikos' good run is over. Bottom. Group G is our penultimate group. You know you love that big word, second to last. The meeting. Roma first. Uh, no, that's not my prediction. We have Roma, Slavia Praha, Sheriff, and Servette. My prediction right here... Um, I'm going to throw a bit of a weird one. Servette first. Yes, the Swiss side are good. Roma suck. I like Roma, but they suck. They cannot do anything right. Uh, Sheriff third. That three figures. Uh, and Slavia Praha bottom, fourth place. There's not good enough in my opinion, but I like these teams. I like them. I think Servette is probably the weakest group on paper, I'm going to be honest. Roma just don't have it anymore. And our last group, we have Leverkusen of Germany, Karabag of Azerbaijan, Molda of Norway, and Haken of Sweden. Leverkusen, easy first place. Shabby Alonso doing the dream work, makes the team work. The other way around. Don't even know at this point in my life. Um, Molda, who got knocked out of the playoff round of the Champions League. Don't really know where to put you. But I'm going to say that Hawken get that second. Karabag, they just scream third place in the Europa League group and nothing else. Third, Molda Bottom. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my quadruple upload today. It's been a big one. The Union Berlin and now these three. It's just a big one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's all I have to thank you for. That's all I have to ask you for, rather. And, yeah, if you did really watch the Europa Conference League video, go watch that. And I'll catch you in a while. See ya.